Oh, hi, everybody. I want to thank Martu Martu for wishing everyone good luck. Always appreciate that. We have Advanced Services 7, who is here playing for the first time and doesn't know what this is. Do any of us know what this is? I do. This is a game show. You're the contestant, Advanced Services 7. All of you are. <laughs> I'm going to ask you multiple choice questions. You're going to see the answers appear on the screen. You'll tap the one you think is correct in order to lock it in. So that is to you. Anybody else who is brand new here, this is the science fiction game. Great work, as always, by our design team. They are, each and every one of them, supremely talented. Now, we asked you, for this special occasion, what your favorite sci-fi show slash film slash book is. And here's some of your answers. We have Mia Sains, who says, Plan 9 from Outer Space, the great Ed Wood film. I mean, not great, but notable Ed Wood film. Wonderful. We have Magic Mama with Barbarella. Another class, Jane Fonda, Pygar the Angel. I know that one, sure. Water Lily Barb going with Farscape. Uh, like maybe the very definition of a cult favorite film or, or television series, rather. Uh, E-Girl Carrie going with Krull. Classic mid-80s sci-fi fantasy there. Artruski loves Sven Gulli. If you know Sven Gulli, then you are clearly from the Chicago area. That is a very specific cultish sci-fi tv show we got sorceress with galaxy quest saying it is the greatest sci-fi film of all time i would even say it might be the greatest star trek film of all time how about that we got cindy's art hut with star trek jib 0446 says flash gordon alex therese says firefly and a few folks said doctor who didn't want to leave that out but for now, cue the theremin music. Because this is our first ever all science fiction edition of Swag Bucks Live. The mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Unleash the robot army in your brain to produce all the facts that you'll need to win today's grand prize. There it is. That is $1,000. And anyone who can correctly answer all 10 of these science fiction themed multiple choice trivia questions will split it. Also in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. And that's the case even if you've already been eliminated, okay? So if that happens, keep playing, keep answering questions right, keep earning bonus SB, but you will need to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. That is as simple as clicking a button that will appear on the screen once the game is ended. Grand prize winners, congratulations. Your bonuses will be claimed for you automatically. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can actually rejoin to give yourself another shot at the grand prize. You can do that either using SB or with a free rejoin. You can always, if you don't have any free rejoins, when a game's not happening, just click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu, and you can earn free rejoins by watching videos. Watch a video, get a rejoin. It's just that simple. Each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one lucky player who earns and claims at least one SB in the game. We announce each game's winner at the beginning of the following game, which means I do have the winner from Tuesday's game, and it was... <coughs> Liffy. Congratulations, Liffy. You will be credited shortly. Everyone else, keep playing and keep claiming at the end of games, because next time, the winner could be you. Finally, there are two ways to earn SB from Swagbucks Live outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, a once-a-day, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule. It resets each night at midnight Pacific time. And, of course, if you don't see it, it means you need to update your app, my friend. Second, if you click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu, you will access an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. All right, folks, that's it. I am zapping the comments with a vanishing ray. There it goes. We can get this game going. Here is question number one. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away appears at the beginning of films in what series? Is it Star Wars, Ender's Games, or Cowboys and Aliens? What series of films? This may lean a bit more towards fantasy than sci-fi, but the 1977 original is one of the most popular films of all time, and I think it is science fiction, friends. Star Wars franchise, of course, still going strong today. Star Wars is your answer. 
99% of you getting that one right. And the rest of you might be noticing those other two answers also starred Harrison Ford in their film adaptation. So there you go. Three Harrison Ford franchises. Uh, only one of them super successful. All right. We have... Over 33,000 people in grand prize contention, over 34,000 playing the game, and we are moving on to question number two. Good news is every question you get right from here on in will earn you one bonus SB. So let's kick that off right now with question number two. The Way of Water is the sequel to which sci-fi hit? Is it Space 1999, Avatar, or Transformers? The Way of Water. What is it a sequel to? Just like the original, it's cleared $1 billion, that's right, billion with a B, at the global box office. And there are at least three more Avatar films coming your way to clean up the box office next. Avatar is the answer, of course, the biggest movie of 2022 and into 2023. Which everybody, people love Avatar. There you go, pretty much everybody getting that one right. And the people who didn't get it right... Pretty much everybody rejoining. The majority of those people doing it for free. That is what I like to see. Get those free rejoins, folks. That is what watching those videos is for. It's a good time. That's it. Let's move on to question number three. It's worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Which sitcom star headlines the sci-fi comedy Galaxy Quest? Is it Steve Carell, Ray Romano, or Tim Allen? Which sitcom star headlines the sci-fi comedy Galaxy Quest? Yes, this is a comedy but it's also an expertly made sci-fi film that some call the best Star Trek movie ever made. I'm the person saying that. And of course, it stars Buzz Lightyear himself, Tim Allen. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. If you have not seen Galaxy Quest, if you're among the 12% who didn't get this right, that's okay. That's what rejoins are for, and they're a bonus SP if you don't want to rejoin. But if you have not seen Galaxy Quest, cannot recommend it highly enough. It is fantastic. Watch it tonight. Watch it tonight if you can. All right, we are moving on now to question number four. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here we go. What was the first science fiction film nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards? Was it 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, or Star Wars? All three of these are sci-fi films. Only one of them was the first nominated for Best Picture. And maybe because of the fantastical elements of it, sci-fi tends to not get a lot of love at the Oscars. And it took over 40 years for a sci-fi film to finally get the best picture nod. And it was Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. A Clockwork Orange is your answer. Only 11% of you getting that one right. That was a brutal question. Of course, Star Wars was nominated, but several years later. And then 2001 A Space Odyssey was not nominated for best picture. Clockwork Orange is your answer. The 89% of you eliminated on that one. We have a good number of you coming right back in using those free rejoins just like you should. I'm going to give you a second to come back. If you've not seen Clockwork Orange, it is a very odd dystopian future, super violent, uh, very weird from a time where uh, movies could be rated X for violence, and that was certainly one of them, but also, uh, also a very good movie, great performance by Malcolm McDowell. All right, we have had... About 80% of the people eliminated come right back in, charging in. We are now on to question number five. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q5. Which of the following is the subtitle of a Star Trek movie? Is it Wrath of Khan, Return of the Jedi, or Dark of the Moon? Which of those is the subtitle of a Star Trek movie? You can't talk about science fiction without talking about Star Trek and the adventures of the Enterprise. And you can't talk about Star Trek movies without talking about the fantastic film from 1982, Wrath of Khan. That's right. 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. 9% of you eliminated. Sorry to see that happen. Nobody wants to see that. But that's what rejoins are for. And if you've already used your rejoin, that's what the bonus SB are for. They're there to help you out. So... Let's move on now. We are halfway done this game. Here comes question number six, worth one bonus SP. Magician Georges Méliès directed which landmark science fiction movie? Is it Metropolis, The Man on the Moon, or A Trip to Mars? Which of those was directed by Georges Méliès? 
Melier brought the magic of illusion to the big screen, using camera tricks to make things disappear and transform, changing the way all movies are made. And he brought people to the moon. That, with that Remember the rocket hits the moon's eye and the man on the moon? That's Georges Melier, my friends. 72% of you getting that one right. Well done. That is what we like to see, folks. That's uh, uh, just doing well. This isn't an easy game. It's sci-fi. Not everybody knows it, but I like that you're hanging in there and doing your best. Let's move on to question number seven now with one bonus SB if you get it right. What kind of candy is used to lure E.T. out of hiding? Is it Skittles, M&M's, or Reese's Pieces? What kind of candy was it? E.T. If M&M's had been smart, it would have been them. But they turned Spielberg down. So instead, we got E.T. chowing down on a trail of Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces is the answer. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. This was more of a cuddly family style look at science fiction. But uh, when you have an alien coming down to hang out with humans, that's science fiction, my friends. L let's move on now to question number eight worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. When selling the Terminator, James Cameron used sketches of which actor made up as the T-800? Is it Bill Paxton, Lance Henriksen, or Steve McQueen? So he's trying to get people on board. He gives them drawings of this actor as the, term the Terminator. We've heard the story of O.J. Simpson almost being cast, but before that, when it was just a concept, James Cameron used an actor in his stable of pros in the concept art. That is the great Lance Henriksen would go on to play Bishop for him in Aliens. Fantastic actor. 87% of you getting that one right, though. I want to point that out. This is not an easy question, and you nailed it. So good. So happy to see that. And only two questions remaining. We're on to question number nine now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. In RoboCop, which city does he protect? Is it Detroit, Olympia, or Ocean City? Which city? Thank you for not smoking. Have a nice day. You can't keep a good man like Officer Alex Murphy down, not even when he's murdered by futuristic gangs. He'll just be rebuilt as a robotic guardian of Detroit and upholder of its laws. Detroit is the city from RoboCop. 13,514 of you have 10 seconds to comply. You have made it this far, and you're ready for our final question. Before we get to that final question, though, I hope you're ready for a tough game. Because tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, we've got the first ever Swagbucks Super Challenge. It is the most difficult game we have done in years. But you will earn a special bonus when you play. Because if you claim your SB from that game, you will get a 25 SB bonus on your next gift card. All right? So you want to come play that Super Challenge that is tomorrow at the regular Swagbucks Live time. Finally, summon your skills in strategy, combat, diplomacy, and leadership to master the dangerous universe of Star Trek Fleet Command. Perfect for this game. Install the app and reach the levels below within 30 days and earn up to 10,500 SP. So here's how it works. Reach level 12, you'll earn 500 SP. Reach level 17, you'll earn an additional 2,000 SP. Reach level 21 to earn an additional 7,500 SP. But if you purchase the second builder unlock for $4.99, you will earn an additional 500 SP. So it even just sort of cancels it out right away, what you spent. It's, that's, that's even money right there. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this out-of-this-world opportunity. Check it out after the game. Please engage your phone in this game and earn yourself a bunch of SP while doing it. We have 13,529 people going after a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 33,500 of you have stuck around to the end. And I got one more bonus, SB. If you can correctly answer question number 10. Here we go. In which sci-fi movie does Harrison Ford hunt replicants? Is it Minority Report, The Terminator, or Blade Runner? Another classic sci-fi that has had like 8 million different versions released. Three years after Alien, Ridley Scott brought us a different vision of the future in his visionary adaptation of Philip K. Dick's book that has like 12 different versions to it. But just pick any you like. Blade Runner is the answer no matter which version we are talking about. 13,177 people knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. Well done to each and every one 
of our grand prize winners. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to PDG product. You are a winner. Who else do we? Rosen Boss 07. Congratulations to you. Hi, Fifth 510, you are a winner. And Vicky for Signy 8. Just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to every single one of you out there who played the game. And either you won the grand prize or you earned bonus SB and claimed them. Those both make you a winner in my book. And now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Please come back tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. Nope. Tomorrow's the Super Challenge. Ha ha ha. I forgot. I remember what day it is. Tomorrow is Thursday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. The Swagbucks Live Super Challenge. Claim your SB and get a 25 SB bonus on your next gift card. You're not going to want to miss that one. In the meantime, thank you for playing Swagbucks Live, and we will see you then, my friends.